I'm Jen Gasper, one of the coaches for Hurricane Marketing Enterprises, and this is part two in the two-part series of how to handle objections that you get during an inquiry. How many of you have been taking an inquiry call or answer the phone? This is Hurricane Home Care. How can I help you? And they say, I'm just calling to get your prices. And you're wondering, hmm, how do I handle that? Well, I'm here to tell you a couple of different ways you can handle the pricing question. There are a couple of different kinds of people when it comes to asking the pricing question. The first would be the shoppers. They just want to know how much you cost and that's it. They have no intention of really carrying on a conversation about things. They are looking for the lowest price. Those people you know you're not going to spend a lot of time with over the phone. The second type of person may legitimately be asking about prices because they want to know what sort of budget to allow for their cares. And these are the people that you will more likely be able to uh, shift their focus off of prices and really to the content of what you do while you're in the home with their loved one. If you're dealing with the first caller, that the very first thing they say when they're on the phone with you is they want to know more information about your prices. I don't like to tell them my prices up front because in all honesty, it is going to depend on the cares that we're providing. So I may shift the, the, the focus a little bit by saying, our prices are really going to vary depending on the cares that your mom or dad might need in the home. Would it be okay if I asked you a few questions to determine a little bit more about the situation so I can have a better understanding of the budget and the value that you're going to be looking at for care? From that point forward, if they agree, it will allow you to move on and carry on a conversation to find out more about what's going on so you can recommend a better plan. If they still want to know the prices, you do tell them your prices. You can give them the range if you have one. And most likely those are the people that you're gonna know right off the bat after you answer whether or not they wanna carry on a conversation with you. Another couple of tricks that I have tried when dealing with the pricing is I simply ask them, is there a specific monthly budget that you are looking at in order to be able to afford CARES? This is going to give me a better idea of if we are going to be able to provide enough service to these people to make sure that they truly stay safe and at home. It's also going to let me understand if they have a realistic expectation of what home care costs. Another strategy that I've tried with these people is when they come at me asking about price, I respond back to them I will be happy to share this, the pricing structure with you. Again, it's really going to depend on what the situation is in order to determine the level of care that you need. Is price going to be what helps you make this decision or is it going to be the care that you're receiving in the home? Hopefully those tips better equip you when you're dealing with the price question. There's another objection that I hear about a lot, and I know you hear about them as well in your own businesses. And that is, you just rocked the, the inquiry call and they say, well, I need to talk to my sister first, or I need to take this information and I have to talk to my brother. Very real possibility. There are lots of family that come together to make these decisions for their loved ones. If you run into that as an objection, Again, I acknowledge that and I say, that is a great idea. I understand families need to come together to make these decisions for their parents sometimes. If you would like me to, I am happy to make the phone call for you and I can share the information and the things that we talked about today. There's probably a lot going on in your head right now. I've given you a lot of information and I'm happy to walk through that process with them step by step. Some people may love that taken off their plate and you can connect with the, the brother or the sister, or whoever, right on your own. Others may still not go for that. You can try scheduling an assessment and making sure that everybody is there. But what you're really doing, again, you're providing a high level of customer service. You are sending the message that you care about these people. And even if these don't help you score the assessment or the consultation right then, I'm willing to bet that these people are going to call those other agencies and they're going to pick up the phone and they're going to call you back because you are the one who wowed them from the beginning. And that's all about what handling these inquiries is. I hope you enjoyed these tips. 
Thank you so much. And until next time, happy booking the assessments.